Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, how to load brushes into Illustrator and not just that, I'm just going to show you the a selection of the brushes collection. It's 16,000 brushes for uh, Illustrator, works in uh, CC as well as CS6, uh, CS5, CS4 etc. All the way down to version 10. Some of them actually were for version 8 but uh, not certain which ones now work in version 8. Right, just going to go now over to Illustrator. I'm using CC and to load the brushes, just get the brush palette. You can find that in the window, brushes. Just go there and just go to open brush library, other library. And now just going to go to my desktop because that's where I've got my brushes. And here lots lots and lots of different brushes whole range of different uh, they're all for commercial use they're all by graphic extras so uh, you can use them to create items for sale and much more there's realistic brushes sort of swirl brushes and I'm just gonna select one of those there's one pieces once you open them they actually appear in the uh, in a library file it uh, would be a nice feature actually if you could actually force it to uh, load into the actual brushes immediately instead of having to uh, keep, uh, like I say, like custom shapes. It would be nice in Photoshop. But uh, unfortunately, in Illustrator, they load into separate libraries. And once you've done that, of course, you can uh, select the brushes, add them to the brush library, and of course, you can now then apply them as a brush. So I'm just going to quickly apply those. And I have to select the brush again, just apply that, and so on and so on. So you can quickly load additional brushes, and I'm just going to go and load another one. Open brush library, other library, desktop, suit brushes, and cross brushes. Open. Whole range of different brush styles. Open brush library, other library. I'm going to select one of the top ones there. So, just going to, this one will later ones, star brushes. So, I'm just going to open those. And you can see there's a, quite a variety of different things. Quite a lot of the earlier brushes were uh, more artistic brush strokes where they can, uh, they're applied along the entire line of the brush. These ones are actually uh, the uh, scatter brushes which you can once you've actually selected them they actually appear in the brushes palette so you can just double click on that and you can modify the, the size of the brush so I'm going to decrease the spacing so you can see more of the brushes of course at that point you can click OK light stroke I must admit I wish this dialog wouldn't appear it would be nice if it was a sticky dialog so I apply to stroke I always want to apply to stroke so uh, uh, it's annoying it comes up but it does and uh, anyway you can uh, then of course just apply other brush strokes and these ones are uh, star designs uh, all again by graphic extras again whole selection of different they're all available in the the, the basic the brushes collection for Illustrator uh, just going to open another one just quick another library open brush library other library and obviously it's nice to have a shortcut quickly and there's a quick so I can select one like zigzag designs click open at that point oh no selected the dot ones and that applies dot designs and again you can modify these very quick and simple just double click on that that one don't click on the library because it's a complete waste of time nothing will happen so uh, you actually have to go to the uh, option over here you can reduce the size down spacing and that sort of thing click OK apply to stroke and so on and so on so that is a quick example of some of the brushes in the brushes collection as well as how to load them and also how to modify the brushes the brushes can be used with pass and and I'm just gonna just show you and also use them to create things like frames as well so you can just quickly click and it sometimes you maybe best to modify the actual design just go over here double click on the uh, brushes palette again 
and you can reduce the size, the width, and that sort of thing. So uh, just click OK at that point. As you well as over here, you can change the stroke as well, so that reduces it down, or you can increase it, of course, which makes a pretty abstract, weird frame. But uh, anyway, probably not a good size for the uh, stroke, so just about that. Anyway, that's a quick overview of the brushes collection as well as loading brushes.